So I want to start off with a very um, amazing film. Uh, if you guys haven't seen this, you have to because the visual effects, firstly, visual effects is too good. I have never seen a visual effects so good in any other movie because it is to the detail so well done. And this is back in 13, it says. And I went and I saw it in IMAX and I loved it. So we have come a long way in animation, visual effects, filmmaking, that um, if you've seen movies like this, like, oh my God, this is incredible. Okay, we've come a long way. You can do so many things just in this, right, Jill? Next. So this is one shot of Bahubali. How apparently that they've made it. And this is a gigantic set. Okay. It's huge. And when they've made this, uh, this person was actually uh, submerged in water. And she is holding a kille bottle. It is incredible what you can do with this. And they've turned it into an amazing uh, output here. I mean, look, it is beautiful. And to be part of something like this is uh, just like a dream come true to me. It really is. And we have come a long way to do this and this. We, we do everything from high end modeling to making Salman Khan's abs, right? And now uh, in that you can see where you want to be. Uh, you can be in pre-production, you can be in production post. So every um, every film, um, movie, ha whatever you, has three stages. Whatever it is, has always three stages. Pre-production, production post. Everyone knows this. I'm, yes. I'm sure everyone knows this. So I'm just going to start with that. But then I'm going to talk about another amazing movie. I'm going to be talking more about this movie. We're going to talk about several. But this being, the, this one, because uh, we can have more slides from the same film so you can understand better. And I, I just won't be showing different random stuff. We'll try and stick to one movie so you can, uh, it'll be better that way. All right. So, okay. So pre-production has a lot of things and uh, I'm going to just go through it. But then uh, most important for me, most important, and I hope it's for everybody too, is the script. You can have amazing visual effects, you can have amazing animation. If you do not have a script, you are pretty much screwed because the whole point of making a film for a lot of people is money, uh, which is not a good driving factor. But if you want to make good money in the end, you'll have to have a good script because people obviously come. That being said, Pacific Rim part one had amazing, it was just beautiful. The script was amazing. And immediately part two, because they think part one is so good, okay, let's just milk this out. They made uh, they made part two and it flopped. It really did. It was so bad. Visual effects, everything was gone because the director said, I made this for everyone. And I'm not making this again because this was my baby. I made it. I will not do this again. And he left. He left the studio. And they they made it anyway because they had the rights. They made it anyway. It flopped. I saw the movie. It was terrible. Okay. Please don't see the second part. See the first part. Yeah, hopefully you will understand that. But yeah, so a few parts, uh, components like I wrote here, uh, are script, storyboarding, layouts, model sheet, animatics. I'll show you each, everyone as fast as I can. Please let me know if you have any questions. But yeah, script, S, is the essence. Please understand this word right now. Essence, you need to have this. Otherwise, it's not going to work, guys. Uh, if, you're not, uh, if you're not a writer yourself, hire someone. Or if you know a friend, go with them. If you're making short films or whatnot, you need to have this. This is very important. Uh, and again, so uh, you can still be in the animation industry if you're a writer also. You don't have to know uh, different types of, uh, how do I say, different types of uh, softwares and whatnot. But script writing is important too. Uh, luckily, I have had the chance of doing that as well. I'm, I'm not a writer, but I try once in a while. And uh, if, I, if I don't know, I will immediately say don't know, and I will try and bring somebody else. That's what I always do. Okay. Uh, yeah, so storyboarding. Wow. Storyboarding is, it, it's, it's just beautiful. See, in this, it's uh, How to Trade a Dragon's storyboard itself. But then in this, it does not have to be so, uh, so crisp and clear like this. It can be rough. And this, according to DreamWorks, is rough. 
but it does not have to be like this it can be stick figures the whole point of this is to understand uh stuff like camera angles and uh, the depth of field and what not so one second yeah so yeah so th this is how it looks like basically you can have it very this is still clear you don't need to have it like this the second strip right here is still clear but you don't need to have it like this it is just to understand so you can start from here right you can start. animation technically starts from here okay so uh, let's see yeah see this is clear this is all, already you can understand the film itself here so they try to make sure they have they have their circles they uh, that's just for their uh, perspective obviously but yeah like i said it does not have to be this clear you can start from here and important guys please uh, practice drawing if you have not started drawing if you don't know how to draw start it's okay uh, it will take a few years but it's completely i mean you don't have to be super creative like this i mean this is just incredible this is dream works ever you don't have to go there you can get there if you start so baby steps one step at a time very slowly it's okay start understand perspectives perspective is very important if that doesn't work it's fine because it's animation you can do anything you want seriously uh if you don't i mean in perspective is important that that will be that will be uh, that will be short to you everything will be fine but you need to uh, have a basic uh, foundation laid down which is drawing important backbone okay backbone of any uh, animation or something like this is drawing backbone of software is, is photoshop you have to know both you have to uh, basics like illustrator photoshop drawing very important you have to know it not not just with with photoshop you need to know more than just the basics to start off in 3d if you go into 3d you can have other things as well but uh, yeah you can you have to start drawing some so in this if you can see it's very very uh, how do i say it's, it's very uh, very rough and this is how it and this is how it will look in uh, in the office because people who are working on this project can come and keep on looking at it. all the time uh, if they don't understand the camera angle they can come and look at this they don't have to go through this video if they have extra questions that's when they go this will be laid down in the office so everyone can see it. it's not yeah it's right there they can make changes like right that and then uh, uh, go down the line there from there so layouts um yes so this is something i recently came to know about a few, uh, just about 2 3 years ago that is layout artists layout artists are basically not uh, creating anything per se but they are putting everything combined in a way that it shows emphasis on some uh, some slides and take away your attention from some like right here if you see if you can see my uh, if you can see the cursor here like i mean obviously you don't understand anything from this okay it's fine it's just uh, is just to make you guys know how layout work but then basically what they do is just have a uh, layout side like this but then that being said i'm not saying layout artists are not creative they have to be creative in a sense ki to show which is which is uh, important and which you have to make sure uh, where your eyes goes first which is very important and this is a great so layer by you you can again be a layout something, artist which is something fine. new that uh, i was this is in this is for again all these things are for people like layout artists for people who don't really know drawing and all that you can still be in the industry but you can have this your creative level will not be high in this it's limited see uh, this is very well done again layout artists being creative as as much as they can then there we have twin stones here to show which is important here he's just making and uh, he's making hand shadows this is awesome beautiful so yeah layout artist is basically uh guys who uh, gets combines everything together uh, maybe i could say uh, a compositing designer if i if i may so he puts up everything make sure it's uh, watchable if you just look at it you just have to be immediately like okay sure i i i should definitely read this or see this anything like that 
But yeah, next we want model sheets. Yeah, so residential reproductions, that's fine. So model sheets are something for people who want to model, right? So right here we have something toothless from how to dragon. This will be laid down first. Okay, this is enough for a modeler to start. Is what well. it's not the most detailed, but if you see in the movie, toothless does not have too much detail in the on him. It's just basically lighting and whatnot. Cool. Uh, yes. So like I said, in modeling. This is for this is for modelers. Uh, again, uh, we have types of modeling that we'll get to in, that we get to very soon. I hope I'm not taking too much time. So this is how it looks basically. This is not from anything, but this is how it will look like. This is nothing. There's no texture. There's no light. There's no rig. There's nothing. But this is how it will look like. And this is for modelers. This is for you to start off something. And there's few things like I said. I will emphasize on one is drawing, and Please no modeling, guys. Uh, if you if you don't have a course that includes a 3D in it, I uh, I encourage you guys to take 3D because that just gives you more uh, that just gives you more space in the industry. You can start wherever you want, but I would encourage you guys to get a 3D class because it's very important. I will tell you mistakes I made also. I started with 3D, but I did uh, I stopped it because. I wanted to focus more on 2D. That's a different thing. Uh, but I have my uh, knowledge of 3D, and I'll tell you what in 3D what I really don't know. So this is how it looked like, but this is still the texture. But just seeing your output right here is just amazing. I few things like I said, right now is two things. One is drawing and one is modeling. You have to know. Next, animatics. Animatics is so beautiful. Uh, it's for this is for basically for who can uh, who can do a good job with their drawings. Okay, just just out here I can't really see the one in the back I can use, but uh, it's basically storyboards, which is animated slightly, very roughly, just to make sure how it's going about storyboards. For a long time, animatics was not included in any of this one, and lots of industries now also do not have animatics because storyboard is enough for them. Animatics is very important for any film. Uh, let's understand how it works out and how storyboard plays out in the film itself. You can see in this. So here it is, another slide from How to Train a Dragon. Uh, these are animated. Obviously, you can't see it. I have uh, this is from Frozen. This is just to show you the slide, but I have this one here. I hope you guys can see it. I won't play the whole thing, but this is how it is, basically. You can see it's rough. It's rough. It it has to be rough. It does not have to be smooth. Having it smooth is upon is up to you. It's you don't really need to do it like that. But then right now, I just play this. Yeah, is this rough? And if you see in the drawings, there's nothing really that makes sense, sort of. The, the one thing they emphasize on mostly is perspective in anime, in animatics. It has to be right. These are camera angles, the, 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 this one you see. Um, yeah, so these are camera angles. The, uh, this you see is movement for them. And usually not animated, but in this it's animated just to show you guys. And. Uh, I'll just go a little forward just on this one for it works. Everything is laid down here, camera angles and everything, because the director will be sitting down with you to do this. So yeah, something like that. Again, animatics does not need to be smooth like this. It can be rough, like like this right now. It looks really rough, but this one is high, very well detailed actually. So the next one in this is animatics. Do, the, do, really do not need color in them, but it's again according to the uh, animatics uh, the person who is uh, animating this, uh, the animatics artist. He will be. Um, if he wants to uh, go to the supervisor and tell him I can add color to this just to make it more lively, he does not need to do it because it's not going to go anywhere. But in this, you can see color has been added. 
you don't need to just to uh, emphasize on few feelings and emotions here. See this colors you don't you don't really need that. You can just you can just have your normal black and white, but it's not like that. Again, this is this is an enthusiastic. Just by looking at this, you can say the the artist here was en enthusiastic about what he wanted to do, and the colors are playing really well. Even though at the animatics again very rough. See, it's very rough but beautifully done. Again, that's not your call. You have to ask the supervisor if you are going to add color. And color is only for you. You're not going to, this is not going to go anywhere. This is only for you. You have to understand that this is not important. But at the same time, if you want it to look more lively and you wanted to add more things for you to have a challenge or something, then it's fine. And so I'll show you something I worked on. Wow. In this case, animatics, because I was working on the animatics, I complete, I, I, I'll play this. But because I was working on the animatics here and I started coloring here, immediately I said, we'll just animate the whole thing here itself. I stopped uh, production. I, I, just went, I just did not even go through the other two stages. I just finished off here itself. And this was something called Hyper Tiger that we worked on in, when I was in Graphic India. I was there for a few years. And so, um, yeah, like, uh, how do you differentiate between story and animatics? Like I said, storyboard is plastered. It is, it is not going to animate in, in itself. It's just a picture, right? It's just a picture. It's not going to move. Animatics is the movement of the storyboard and nothing else. And uh, again, rough, this one. So storyboards can have maybe, uh, let's say, 10, 10 slides uh, in, a, in a whole panel, but uh, animatics, in that 10 slides have to make it to maybe 25 just to show the movement of the uh, of the storyboard but yeah that's basically it. it's just a moving storyboard So this is when I went to the supervisor and told him, listen, I'll take care of this. I'll do it. I'll do the coloring. He, uh, so I did a bit of the coloring and I showed it to him. He loved it immediately. And he said, cool, go ahead with it. And I finished it myself. I didn't, it didn't go down from the level there. I did it myself. I said, you know what? I can take care of it. As, as an artist, I took that uh, responsibility of saying, I can take care of this. I will finish it myself. And that's what I did the whole thing. I mean, not to say I did like characters and all that, which is a different thing altogether. But the animation and coloring, whatnot, the music, the SFX that I added in this was completely new. This is a show where we are working on called Hyper Tigers. Okay. You can check it out. It's on, you can just Google it. Uh, it's there. It's a Graphic India property. Basically, that's, that's it. Yeah, so modeling is basically uh, they'll uh, give you the model sheets, and that's when you start modeling. It will look like this. It looks beautiful. You have to come into detail. Everything in detail will be done here, not including texturing here, by the way. Modelers do not have to texture. That's up to you again if you want to be in that team. They you usually are not. Uh, you're, in, you're in modeling, and you're sent off to modeling. No, nothing really else. So yeah, this is how um, uh, modeling looks. This is beautiful modeling. Again, DreamWorks uh, property, very well done. And to get to this level, obviously you have to be a uh, genius in uh, modeling and whatnot. But yeah, this is very important. Please, 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 please do modeling. One of the things I did late on, later on is modeling. And I feel if, I started modeling and I started 3D a little earlier. Um, I would have been in a completely different place right now. But uh, in a, obviously good, but sometimes I regret not really focusing on too much on 3D. Now I know I took a little time though. I want you guys, even though you're students now, 
how old you guys are you can start off modeling please learn it's very important next okay yeah this another few models this this is the normal t pose uh you are given like this and this is sent down uh from there to the texture artist and he takes care of it now in modeling there are two two main types one is soft and one is hard surface uh hard surface is basically anything except humans or uh, living things basically uh all non living things is done here you were given dimensions you are given everything and you have to take care of the modeling yourself here and this is also uh, th there's a light here but uh, you don't have to worry about that see a hard surface this beautifully done if the if you were up to me sometime back when i was a student i would take up hard surface because it's obviously a challenge in on itself but, uh, i and i like i like to challenge myself when i'm working because it doesn't get monotonous like that and i still work on uh, uh, projects like this but is nowhere as close as good looking as this one so please like i said modeling very important if you can take up something hard surface uh only because it pays well uh, then the other one that's all that's my uh, ad advice but again if you guys want to take care of uh, modeling something else like organic modeling you can go go ahead and do that it's beautiful too animation everything is great but it's how you go up there is important baby steps like i said again all these are hard surface you can also see how uh, the size of the thing is it's given there you have to uh, this is given to the um, the artist himself he like this is this is your dimensions this is how it's supposed to look like he will create it and the sizing and what not will be given to someone else but this is for him for him to uh, understand the visuals and understand what the size of the prop is of your model is or if you may see in this in this is you can understand how this is stoic that's the guy's name uh he uh you can see the difference between this and this one and then this is obviously the, see you're not modeling small objects here you can uh, you always have to model however the dimensions have been given you can't model and then uh, scale it up it doesn't work like that you have to understand that uh, modeling works in a certain way in this case like i said hard surface is hard really hard technically really hard because uh, like uh, on a difficulty level it's like an 8 on 10 because of the difficulty level but you have to understand that you have to follow the dimensions because if you screw it up first of all uh, you're not going to get uh, good projects or uh, worst case you'll get fired you have to follow a, a certain method how to uh, scale this up another very important thing you have to do is texturing with it goes hand to hand in hand that is modeling and texturing please understand texturing is very important i do not know texturing and i'm regretting it now also hopefully i can join guys in soon and uh, learn few classes for sure this textures will be given to you by certain someone in the uh, in the industry uh, you cannot just pick whatever textures you want but again this is how basic it looks like this is normal this is normal mushroom and it, it it's everything is given here and the you obviously in this the dimensions you have to measure out otherwise you are pretty much screwed but this is just this one and this is next level i this is not understandable even to me i don't know how they do this but this is this is how texturing looks like basically this is how you have to lay it down and texturing is done mostly in photoshop but you can do use other softwares as well um even industries use photoshop they use different softwares also mostly photoshop but that's how it is and then yeah man uh, like i said very important please understand that uh, lots of industries needs modelers and texturing artists not uh, not really animators per se because animate to get to that level you have to show them that you're good at other things only then let's say you're good at, you're a good animator you have to learn this because only then you get up you don't you, you can't just go to any uh, industry and be an animator you can't they'll test you out in a few things 
mostly modeling and whatnot, texting, very important. But you, the, the steps, even in the thing to go. So when I started off, I started off as a rotoscopy artist. Rotoscopy is something very uh, simple, but it takes a lot of time. And for me, it's very monotonous. I do not like it. I really do not like it because I started from that level. Uh, I wanted to be an animator and that's how I got there. So it took me about um, two and a half years before I could start anything with animation. And when I started an animation project also, I had to start off with something very, very minuscule, very small. But it takes time. Like I said, uh, you guys should be very patient because in the start, uh, usually animation industries don't play so well in the start only. But once you get, once you get in, the, the, the sky is the limit. You get paid so well. You get paid really well. Uh, I'm, I'm getting paid well now, but in the first two years, not so much. I've been, in, uh, I've been freelancing as well. Uh, always a side project is always good not to have just one job, but uh, have another source of income as well. But um, that being said, it takes steps. Please understand this is one a very important step. So I, I said uh, drawing and uh, modeling, texturing. These three things are very important. If, you, if there's one thing you can take out from this thing is it, focus on these few things that I say. There's going to be one or two more things. Lighting in this case is not uh, this one. It is, it's, is not easy. Modeling can still be done. Lighting takes trial and error. Uh, even professional uh, model uh, light, uh, lighting artists do not just say, "Okay, this is the this uh, this scene requires so much uh, uh, sunlight, or this uh, this scene requires so much uh, particular light on an object." You can say that, but he will try it out. He'll put in the he'll put in the settings. He will get it wrong the first time for sure. You will not get it right. And first of all, just to see the lighting, just to see the preview takes time. That's another rendering preview on its own. But to get to that level also, you're going to take time. Lighting require, uh, plays a very beautiful part. In the scene, the, these guys are mesmerized by what they're looking at. And if lighting wasn't here, you, couldn't, you won't be able to see what they're seeing. It'll just be floating pieces. You can't see it really. The, the lighting, the glow plays a good part. But yeah, this is how a scene would look before and after lighting. Immediately changes everything. You can see the fur on this bird. I hope you guys have seen this movie. It's a nice movie uh, with Tom Holland in it. And I think it's Tom Holland and uh, Will Smith. Yeah, Will Smith. It's, it's beautiful. But yeah, um, like I said, lighting changes everything in this. So yeah, someone asked me about rigging. Rigging is a process of adding bones. Here, if you see, Everything, every bit of this character is rigged because it needs to be animated. You you have to rig it in order to animate it. You don't. Uh, there are companies that out there they uh, model something and leave it in the uh, background because they're not going. No one's going to see them. But nowadays, everyone sees everything, every detail. So you have to make sure something a secondary animation is played. There's this character here with different rigs all over his body. You can start the rigs from proper arms legs, head, all the way to fingernails. Yeah, your fingernails also can be moving, right? You can move it. If you can see that, you can move your fingernails like that. And that is also animated, but not, I mean, in this, uh, there's no fingernails, but it can go all the way up to that joint. Even with this joint, there can be another uh, rig there so, so you can animate it so well. It's gone to that level, guys. You, you need to uh, focus on the details. You can't, you can't really um, cheat in this case because uh, if you need to, I mean, obviously, uh, whatever the story requires, but you can, what I'm saying is you can go up to this level. Guys. And in this, you can see how rigging will change the expressions and it's beautiful. Uh, here he has rigging, he has a rig on his uh, eyebrows. He has on his eyebrows and eyelids to make him twitch a little bit. Right, so modelers and uh, rig, uh, rigging artists—it's uh, not called riggers. That's I hope uh, I've heard that many people say riggers. It's not riggers; it's rigging artists. Um, 
you can uh, once you rig something it changes it changes the dynamic of the whole character in this case he's adding rigs to his eyelids right if he adds rigs to the eyelids he can show how uh, in the scene in this uh, model itself you can see how this guy is two things either really shocked and uh, like wants to know what's happening on or he's himself he got a shock for some news or something and he stopped working so you can see it in many ways uh, this is the two ways i can see it in like uh, someone broke in some broke in bad news about maybe uh, uh, i don't know his uh, is let let's say his daughter got kidnapped or something so he is just talking and he just freezes there and that's possible with rigging rigging again is adding joints it's called joints it's points joints whatever you want to a specific i'm getting something uh it's uh, basically for uh, to animate any part of the body some people don't really work on this you can do this and here if you want rigging i can do this that that's what i can do with rigging if you see in the industry itself if you're comparing rigging if you ask me what's the easiest thing i would say modeling the easiest because i i believe anybody can do that once you, you know uh, read properly uh, there are modelers out there who do a very good job but uh, this is this is again this is what i feel also most difficult part in character animation uh details like fur um so if you uh, i hope you guys know um, monsters inc right monsters inc had uh, a character called sully or sullivan uh, whatever you want to call him is this blue character is is basically a monster who's there who had fur and i think that was the first time pixar used fur in a character like that i mean fur was already there hair was already there but movement in the fur right the movement specific movement in the this one was used in monster zing okay the character sullivan his scenes whatever it is his fur took for one render took 12 hours so you render you leave you go take bath nice have food come back you still render okay it, at that point and now um uh, he has more fur and this was in uh, monsters university he had more fur at the time he had about over 5 million uh, hair stands for whatever um on him and at the time it took about 30 minutes i believe share screen there you go yeah so uh, i worked on a few uh, projects the one is being astrophos by uh, uh, amita bachan's astrophos this is because he's the executive producer for this uh, he lent his voice for this only for the first episode i believe uh, i created the the dinosaur you see in the back right the dinosaur godzilla looking thing in the back i created that and i'm glad it came to the uh poster here but yeah so this was on disney uh, i so disney was the main head the, the network that we worked for and this was my time at graphic india then I, i did and um it was it's basically about uh twins neel and tara uh teaming up with some teaming up with amita bachan who is astra and uh, it basically plays on that it's the demographic is for kids um not really for anybody else actually because the animation on purpose was made uh, not really smooth it was way, made in a way that it uh, that people would find it funny or something and this you see uh, this is the starting bit which i created for uh, for like an intro for uh, astra force mm. but yeah and this one also stanley sakra this i worked for and this is this went on cartoon network um again uh, un, maybe my uh, most favorite character I've ever worked on was stanley's chakra this is frank and ollie basically uh, they created this let me try that again this 
they are the one who created the toll principles of animation uh, under the super uh, this I'm sorry. yeah <laughs> exactly so yeah uh, they are the one who created these principles under the supervision of walt disney i believe he was there i am not sure about that because he used to uh, he uh, one thing uh, i like about walt disney so much is that he likes the 10th point exaggeration which is very important throughout this everything is very particularly important nothing really but for me exaggeration is very important as it shows uh, it can show the type of emotion so much more so again something you guys have to work on is this when i started working um, they gave me this to read and uh, do tests on and this is how they tested me when i started so and i started in a proper uh, industry proper animation industry and before i started working on anything even my rotoscopy that was my first job i started with this and they gave me this and they it, for me it really did feel in, uh, insulting a bit because uh, i knew animation i knew the principles pretty well uh but this has to be like you should know it like the back of your hand guys it has it's very important uh this is my my favorite in this is 10 uh but yeah it's 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 pretty cool all in frank yeah all in frank you can google them they're the one who wrote this uh these principles don't really apply all the time okay Th this is th this is there this is like your basics but they don't really um apply all the time in in terms of some people really don't care they they'll do whatever they want which is fine because animation has come to that point now where you can do whatever you want and really don't have to follow the rules anyway but that being said for students you have to start from a point and this is your starting point and you have to know how you go through with it with this with this you know exactly what to do uh, it has all, all its rules and uh, this and all but you can have this as your basic and then uh, follow through with it again like i said uh, i am now in post production i like that's where i like to be i started uh, my work in uh, pre but now i'm in post and that's where i am and that's where i like to be um, animation is what i was i started on but then now i'm focusing more on visual effects so post production has three main thing it actually has more these are the main main ones this compositing sound editing which is again which goes by really quickly because uh in studios they don't give these guys a lot of time because uh they crunch them down and they say this is what doing this and it is by this time they don't do that with any other uh, department they really they, uh, they be like okay cool this is what we need but try your best to finish it but with them they go okay this is what this is what you need this is when you finish it otherwise you're out but yeah compositing is my favorite thing in visual effects that's what i do but yeah this compositing compositing is basically taking all your um, parts from every other this one that has done like modeling texturing lighting everything and they put it together compositing is that and it seems it seems easy but on the scale of 1 to 10 i would say compositing is about uh, in, in terms of difficulty around 7 8 maybe Uh, yeah okay if the connection goes i'm very sorry guys but yeah um anyway um yeah so basically trying to uh, get all the shots into one little frame one frame getting all the little bits here and there everything climb putting it in in this case uh, this is a this is a 3d model in a 2d uh, film right so here this was animated first the characters there they do not know what they're looking at but then uh, all of this are made separately right so this was made during the uh, animatic stage the the character the animation here the 2d part of it the 3d bit here right was done obviously separately and as a compositor you are supposed to bring all, bring all of them together and this is a very small little, this one this is a little more advanced because this is the character that has been developed 
and then uh, they get character they get the they get few passes passes is basically let's say an image image will have a few passes so uh, it'll have a light pass it'll have the the model itself and then everything will just uh, it'll just come together yeah okay so like i said uh, all the all the passes are there and they put it in one little frame and they put the characters and they start off so this is just a very small little uh, example what compositors do right they get all of the pre done animation into one scene together next would be sound editing sound editing is also what i had uh, uh, pleasure of working with i worked with sound editors and uh, composers and what not and they have uh, let's see yeah so um, mm -hmm. right so uh, editing is basically sound editing is basically your music your sound effects everything comes here and so yeah this is what basically a sound editing room in disney would look like you uh, i started uh, as a student i did not know what to do and it's because uh, i don't know if sophia knows this because of sophia i know what i wanted to do and it's because of her i know exactly what i wanted to do so when i saw it happening there on screen it, it was a small crash course and i say crash course i mean it was about half an hour and we we saw that and we know exactly what to do and we went through with it and i was like i know what i want to do in life now i want to do i want to work around this this is what i want to do and uh, that's only because of sophia ma'am and uh, i hope uh, i have made you proud so um, i feel uh, at one point i was lost uh, early on i knew i wanted to uh, the whole point of me joining animation in the start was to make people laugh right uh, anything that can do to make people laugh i could do that so i had two options either become a stand up comic or do this stand up comic was not happening because it didn't pay well and animation was paying well and that's why i got in basically and i loved animation i love what i'm doing right now right now i'm working on something called information extraction with artificial intelligence me just saying that makes me sound super smart but uh, this is where i am and i love being here and i love what i'm doing and all of that started root was sapna ma'am and she helped me out super she helped me out a lot and i here only because of her. me and my other friend i know he also says the same uh, he's in a completely different this one though same field but completely different he's in writing and uh, directing and what not i am in production itself like uh, animation part of it and he'll focus on both it's the editor's job to pick the best shot and go through with it and going through those shots is a headache in on itself but when it comes together oh lord it's amazing just to see how your this one is working out anyway so basically this is how it looks this how uh, this is just another software um it, this is how it looks basically it has its own uh, you you put it down you take all your aspects in you i'm sure you, uh, all of you know how uh, editing works but uh, basically uh, cutting everything down and the worst part about editing is to cut it down to a certain uh, timeline right so i'm saying, i'm sorry a certain time limit so the few things i want to mention is uh, know what you want to do focus on your basics please and please have a good system invest in a good system uh, um it's 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 hard i get it i mean not everyone has that much money also to invest in a good system but when i say system i don't mean laptop guys laptops are expensive you can just get a good normal internet connection and um, a desktop the people are paying for a good gaming laptop like 1.5 2 lakhs and all that in under 1 lakh you'll get a good enough system for you to do your animation i mean i'm talking about a basic system here for animation itself 
what's the most challenging visual effect you worked on and what was it okay uh, you guys have time please check out uh, uh please check out this channel it's called graphic india right um this is where most of my works are um one thing visual effect wise i worked on here i won't call it a visual effect but visuals itself was hardest to work on in this uh i'm going to change it down to this um i don't know if sapna mamu has solved because you should definitely check this out because uh i worked really hard for this for this in terms of everything from story all the way to this one story we didn't really have to do it because story is already given here in the myth itself but uh, i'm sure uh, everyone has an idea uh, kali she started destroying the world and then uh, in the end was stopped and i believe it was i believe it was shiva i don't i don't know i i, I don't remember i'm so sorry uh, who stopped her from doing this uh, yeah it came out really good i'm very proud of this this is my favorite one and to get to this level okay so as 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 an artist myself when i draw i erase more than i draw which uh, i still have that habit i when i when i draw I'm like screw this i can't do this i don't i can't do rough i'm like i have to have the outlines properly otherwise i'm just draw uh, erasing it out all the time okay i'm talking about actual pen and paper type uh, pencil and paper i'm sorry but yeah um, it took me a while to get there but uh, i'm happy where i am now i have to improve maybe i will take few classes from abhijit himself and the other one i worked on not really read the whole thing i worked on was uh, this one kidrakshi and in this if you see it's very cartoonish it's i, I also another thing i loved working on a uh, very cartoonish uh, i'll just play this but there yeah, um again very smooth uh, and this is for not just kids this was the demographic for teens and uh, no i didn't do it daily i i wish i okay uh, i am 25 years old now but i wish i started way early um, i still have everyone has regrets it's fine i don't want to call it a regret but something i sm- slightly missed out on was um, was basically uh, trying to draw better but i had to do it daily i didn't do it maybe in a week i did one or two in a week and i got rough sketches that's fine do rough sketches do something every day do something uh, what's the collaboration process like with director producers and vfx artists that's the thing so vfx artists are not really with directors directors direct something and the supervisors the main super visual effects supervisor will be there of the directors Uh, artists vfx artists such as myself never get to meet any of them or get to be on set or to see what's happening that happens only with the uh, the the supervisor who is there and he's in that i want to be at that level as a supervisor level because at that case he goes and tells people what to do basically he's there to understand uh, uh, he is there Uh, let's producers will not is not going to be there in the movie, uh, in the part of the movie the producer is only for the money basically this is not really going to be there while working on the on the film directors uh, stunt coordinators dop all of them will be there producers will not be there uh, but vfx artists will be back i don't know home somewhere behind the screen only doing their work so tanzim by when are you planning to be the supervisor Oh no man I don't I'm 25 if I become if I become supervisor when I'm 65 I'll be still happy it, it's 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 a process right it takes a while it takes so it, it takes so long but uh I want to get to that level um to get to that level it's going to take a lot of hard work and uh not really anybody becomes supervisors uh I know supervisors Right. they're amazing and they've been working like me right. for about two decades wow just amazing. just just working and they've got to that level after working for two decades so they're uh, you know they've got they've reached a certain level but then it needs a lot of practice is what i'm saying commitment 
Oh my God, the sheer commitment you need is is yeah you can't really compare you have to be committed focused so that's the thing when i was when i was studying animation first when i was in school and all animation school right. i had i had people uh, come up to me and they're like why are you doing this it's just a uh, bachon ka thing and all i'm like i want to show it for bachche people <laughs> i i want to show it to them i want to make them laugh that's my whole thing in the first place that i started this on that note only to to make people laugh Right. but it's again i i want everyone to take that notion out of their head saying it's not for uh it's not for uh, it's not for adults it's not true movies are for everyone so yeah um in one of these classes where, where i came to know okay listen vfx is there i'm going to take part in that but at the same time me being very enthusiastic about animation period i wanted to take part in everything and that's what i did now so i no. i ticked everything down uh like i said i want to be something a little more like a supervisor but getting to a supervisor level is going to take a lot of hard work so whatever i did till now uh times maybe 25 30 or something i have to work that much harder to get to that level but um i'm i'm trying i'm trying but yeah for compositing uh focus on color grading that's one thing not everybody really focuses on or really takes note all sometimes they just put some color and it works out and you can see the difference color grading very important for compositing so if you can composite even the smallest thing you have to have good colors okay you can composite people can composite you can add anything you want as long as your colors are looking great it's just magnificent beautiful but yeah uh rithik i would say um color grading work on color grading yes, sir, very important we teach them color theory during the design course that they learn <laughs> the very foundation i believe right, 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 right. that they carry i'm sure it will help them in composition go- and that's the thing right so uh, i think first semester some things uh, is photoshop and illustrator photoshop and illustrator you'll be working on throughout i am still working in photoshop and illustrator you have to have it so uh, once you teach something in uh, kaizen for instance if you teach some if you teach them something it's not only for that semester it will be there forever yeah no so, it's not actually the students like now you have gone through the process so you understand that But oh no the, oh god yeah so the ones who are currently studying for them it's like why do we need color theory especially no, when it's no, no, no. theory so you know i'm i'm sure uh, we all as student has gone through that a hundred percent hundred percent as a student feel to it i <laughs> <laughs> yeah totally <laughs> so i mean that's what we need to so carry Sanzi- throughout our life huh? but i i would no absolutely mahesh is right like do, do, just because you're at some level right you don't have to be adulty you don't have to be oh no i'm not going to do that anymore right. just whatever i'm i'm never going to be stop doing what i do So I try, I obviously uh, getting older you get wiser and you know what to say what not to say blah 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 all that kind of stuff but you have to be yourself try to be try to be lively don't mess anyone yeah just do you just do you i okay cool anyway you i don't want to stay a kid if you want to be in a creative industry you can't just be uh, overgrown 100% 100% 100% you you need to be creative and being creative you don't you don't be creative by being a super adult or something oh i know exactly what to do no you have to be you have to think from other perspectives or the way doing the same thing over and over <laughs> because uh, yeah tanjit loves to exaggerate one small thing and one long thing yeah so i think that's one of the principles to... right of animation and yeah that's yeah, why tenth, he takes it literally tenth yeah, i i love no i love it what are you saying over i love it <laughs> you you have this yeah, yeah, yeah but yeah i'm sorry go ahead now no no i have nothing else to say now everything you've said now done sorry all i sorry, can say is thank you and enough now <laughs> yeah yeah enough enough to went on for too long i'm very sorry about that anjim <laughs> thank you no, so no, no, much no no yeah <laughs> thank you so much you can carry on we have some yeah, yeah. discussion with our students i'm sure i'm sure i'm so sorry so i will leave but thank you so much for having me guys it was really nice it was a pleasure actually sure thank you so yeah. much thank you so much
thank you ma'am thank you thank you very much yeah bye ma'am so come hey everyone listen to you listen to sapna ma'am uh, and watch her bye <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> see you see you bye 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 yeah bye, bye. bye.